Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my 144 modded playthrough. Oh, wait, see, I see bumblebees finally. I've been waiting for these guys to show up. Haha! <laughs> Sweet, they do exist. Alright, but they're, yeah, they're just bait is all. So, here, guys, have fun. Kind of cool how they go after the flowers and stuff, too. Uh, but yeah, we have pirates coming in, so... Yeah, fun times. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. I like them. Uh, let's see. We got the Abyss Shocker still. We got Storm Saber. I never did before just Storm Saber. And somehow I randomly got a Celestial Claymore as a drop. And I'm not sure what dropped it. Oh. Oh, hey. Also, you know, said I got my life fruit all filled in, so. Ow. Freaking cannonball. Captain, die. Oh, okay, the ghost came out. Alright, what do we got? Golden platforms, hooray. How many was that? 81, okay, I did read that right. Alright, um... Well, that gun also just starts sucking, so, I mean... always like a dead eye in the middle of all those groups of enemies. Yeah, I need a new ranged weapon too. That thing kind of sucks. Okay, hello pirate captain. All right. So the, uh, the Storm Saber, not so good on small targets. The homing has a hard time locking onto the smaller guys, and half my shots are just zipping down straight into the ground instead. Got a Pyro Captain, hooray. Dead eyes are just tearing me up. Um, yeah, okay. I'll 
check to see what all we've got later on. Where the hell did the nurse go? Oh, hello, Captain. Oh, hello, Parrot. Okay, so that doesn't do a thing in this case. Is that Sea Shanty Singer? Okay. Where'd my nurse end up at? She jumped ship and she's all the way down there now. What the hell? Oh, hello. Okay. That would probably be, yeah. Storm Saver's gonna do good on that. Surprised Flying Dutchman doesn't have boss bar, but oh well. Hey, jerk. So I'm actually wearing the Crystal Assassin gear right now. And, uh... I have nothing else that had nine more defense than the, uh, the Statagel armor, so... Oh god, yeah. Another one in. Okay. You know, I just realized I've got that going still. Okay, so pirates are technically defeated, and I just have this thing to deal with here. This thing just needs to die. Hey, got it. Cool. Well, the nurse is back finally. All the doors shut anyway. So we got a cutlass, which is 177 true melees. Not bad. But uh yeah, not what I'm going for. 137 golden platforms, okay. And I've oh, got free iron skin, golden furniture. Got the coin gun. Cool. Midas Prime. Okay. Let me take a look at that here in a second, but 
We're gonna sell that stuff off. Cool, we got the lucky coin too. Nice. Uh, we got the ship's helm, which is a boomerang. Okay. Dutchman's avarice. Pick up money from afar, increases in size and damage for every coin collected up to 100%. Enemies killed will drop more money. Hmm. All right, so. Right click to toss a gold or silver coin in the air. Striking the point of the bullet causes a direct exchange to the nearest enemy. Up to four coins can be tossed simultaneously. Shots will ricochet multiple coins if possible. Ricochet bullets always critical strike and do bonus damage based on the coins used. But if nothing else, it's 127 range damage versus 83. So yeah, um, that is material, so I'll keep it. My pirate map away. No, I want my piggy bank. And a void bag. Hey, we got the black spot. Sweet. Finally have a mount. Captain Stony Dirt. Okay. Concertina. Interesting. Got a couple flying Dutchman relics, and yeah. Did not want that. I wanted this. Thank you. And let's go ahead and grab all of our medals out. I wonder where the pair captain moved in at. Oh, he's down here. Okay. Always click life fruit. <laughs> You're going to need a good amount of it, so. Grown right there, even. Awesome. All right, Russell. <laughs> uh, hibernation charm. Okay. David Jones lockbox. Every 100, 1,000, and 10,000 damage dealt will cause it to spit out a corresponding coin. Okay. Nimbus. Something is a mountable wyvern. The Almighty Recipe. Sure. I'll go ahead and buy that. Cursed Hammer. Suspicious Golden Key. I think that's just for mimics. So, totem collar, theses is thread. I want to buy that actually. That'll come in handy. Hitting enemies will cause them to drop more money on death. Skinning blade, okay. And tracker's fork. All right. Are you not dead yet? Seriously. There we go. Thank you for the turtle shell. And hello, Plantera Bowl, right next to the arena that I'm going to fight Plantera in. All right. Uh, we got the captain's poignard. Midas is gavel. Three Midas inflicting superstars. It's like five platinum, though. Do I really want to check that out? Seething Charge, Pirate Outfit, Cannonball, Sails. Okay. Another Plantera Bulb, it's like right here. Hello, Angry Trapper.
And another life fruit. Alright. So if I go over here, we run into the dungeon. Temple. It took me a while, I'm like, that didn't sound right. <laughs> it, it just took me a while to figure out exactly why it didn't sound right. Okay. And I hang out here and I could kill some lizards if I wanted to. Uh, there is a summon, I believe, that drops from them. Actually, it might have been Spirit Mod. I'm not sure. There's a Lizard Mimic around somewhere, too. <laughs> that guy's just phasing through blocks there. I need more attacks that actually pass through blocks, though. Yep, that guy's just he's doing the same thing. Okay, so the stars only come from above. All right. All right, so I found myself a new toy. The Adamantite Particle Accelerator. It's fun. Um, I don't know how good it'd be on like bosses or whatnot, but uh, yeah, it's uh, 113 base damage, so it's not quite as good as the Midas Prime, but uh, yeah, fires out two beams, and if both beams uh, hitting the opposite polarity increases the damage, so. So the second hit's going to be hitting a lot harder than the first. And we also have... Titanium Railgun. Thirteen thirty-five on a crit. I like it. A lot of fun. And it looks like neither of these ranged weapons use mana, which is awesome. Or, not mana. Ammo. Why are you still here, Thulu? Like, you usually leave, like, as soon as it becomes nighttime. But, uh, trying to decide what I should do for bosses next. Probably the goblins, I think. Combine that with the, uh, two weapons that you know, pierce like crazy, and, uh, yeah. I think we'll be good. Alright, and we've got a, a warlock right off the bat. Okay. We've got the Shadow Flame Bow now, okay. I think it's this, like, thing. <laughs> oh, got hit. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is that anyway? Spirit guide, huh? Okay. What is this about? Green jelly region. Oh, okay, that's right. Um, I'm using my grand gelatin now. It's the first time I've used a healing potion since. And uh, being hang out in this aura for a while. Uh, removes all debuffs and defense damage at one time. Increase life regen for all players inside for eight seconds. And this aura lasts a lot longer than I thought it would. Apparently, yeah, we, uh... They freaking jerks broke my doors again. I need to remember to open the doors before the goblins show up. Alright, so we got Shadow Plane Bow, which is material as well. And... Decaying Sorrow. And the Astral Defeat. Okay. It flames as they travel, extra damage, okay. Decaying sorrow turns wooden arrows into a of plush decaying bolts. Cursed cloth, okay. So it's a while if I can update that. Got a lot of banners this time though. Need that, that, or that either. And okay, we also got the Shadow Flame Hex doll. Alright. Which that's a material as it is too. For the Augur of the Elements. Okay. And that, yeah, Galactic Singularities. And, okay, so that's going to be a little, a little while until I can do that as well. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using that Midas Prime. <laughs> Mankind is dead. Blood is fuel. Hell is full. Interesting. Okay. It only shows up when you hold shift over it. Uh, let's see. Oh, freaking things full again. Uh, let's see. I get a chest. How about a lizard chest, right? Is there enough room to squeeze it in, like, right here? Yeah, there is. Okay. So. Let's, uh, Relocate at least the banners for now. That way I can put this stuff away. So that, yeah, freed up, what, 36 items? Or item slots? I also made myself a Wyvern's Call. Which could be good against, like, you know, the Destroyer or whatnot. Especially the explosions. Hey, uh, this does upgrade into... Hammer Noctis. But the Skyfall. There's Night Wyverns and Stars from the Sky that stick to enemies and tiles and explode. 407 damage. Ah, okay. Ruining a soul. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. And... Should I try making the seafood? What am I missing? Oh, shark fins. Hmm. Dang. Now, isn't there, like... Uh, it's called, like, what, the arid... Air to artifact or something like that. Yeah. What do I need for that? More ancient cloth. Okay. Or I could hit up my desert acolyte. I believe in the... Yeah, he's in the jungle. Okay. And I can pay him to start a... a um, what thing? Magnus? Yeah, that does not shoot through. Uh, solid blocks. 
Neither does this one, okay. Do 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 do. I need the steampunker to show up so I can start using uh, teleports. Ready? Okay, I'm guessing that started the sandstorm. Yeah, it did. Cool. All right. I'm thinking sand sharks sound like fun. Oh, hello. And elemental. Great, where is she? She's over there? Okay. Okay, I gotta really be more careful of this. Oh, I didn't even notice. Dang it. Ah. Uh, whatever. Just go. Spontaneously lobotomized. Oh, that is just not a good way to go. Let me switch over to the particle accelerator. Another dune slice. Man, these guys are just coming out of the woodwork, aren't they? I'm not getting shark fins off these guys. Okay, that hurt. Yeah, I'm getting just stomped by the hard mode sandstorm. Hey, jerk.
Man, those things are horrible. Am I seriously not? Oh, I'm getting. Okay. Really getting shark fins, but I'm getting shark fins. Yeah, the Brimrose Staff. <laughs> Definitely a fun magic weapon, and my god, it does not shoot through the mana very fast at all. Okay, are we gonna get anybody fun around? Nope. Three shark fins so far. I need what five? I think was it? Hey, Fulu finally left. I mind getting a couple of uh, desert or sand elementals in. All I'm getting now is just splicers, though. Or slicers, or whatever they are. took a bit, but we have six forbidden fragments now. Um, got sand shark kite. Cool. Small sand lamp. Okay. So we can switch out my siren child for a miniature sand elemental. And here. Ocean. Underworld. There we go. Wow. Got a lot of stuff for sale. All right, let me go ahead and don't need that because I don't need more than one. I'll just go ahead and sell that off to you. I need an Amadeus Spark. So that's two more parts of the uh, Heart of the Elements. And this plus the, uh, oh, what is it, Strange Music Note? Or basically, it's like a Heart of the Elements pet that you can have. And... Actually, let me get that... One of those shark fins out again. Uh, here we go. Because I forgot what I was trying to make now. Why are you guys in the wrong house? Oh, well. Ah, seafood. That's right. And there's also the Barracuda gun. And the seafood. Which this can be made pretty hard mode, so. Uh, 
probably should. I'm kind of leery to look in here. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay. Fill that off, and then Nasher. Oh, that's okay. I tried shift clicking those out of, of the uh, my storage system earlier, and they went into my void bag. Okay, because I haven't fought any Nashers in a while yet. Um, right. Okay, have I found the jungle life yet? I don't think I have. I don't need that one. I don't need that one. I think I still need to find the jungle lab, but yeah, we're good other than that. Get rid of that, that, those. Alright, much better. Since these don't stack, then... Those were taking up a, a good amount of space in my storage system on their own. Alright, well, let's see. I have a toss up between the Brimstone Sword and the Storm Saber. Yeah, so which one I would prefer to use. I should probably put that mechanical worm away. Actually, can I open that up? Thank you. There, we'll just cancel that real quick for us. And, yeah, you're full of banners now. Okay. So it should hopefully stop sometime soon here. Hey, look, it stopped. It is 3.21 in the morning. You can go ahead. Throw you down there. Yeah, I kind of figured these guns would do a number on him. <laughs> Hitting like two to three thousand DPS. Oh, you freaking things. The worst part of the fight is the, uh, his fart clouds.
Hey, got him. First try, even. Damn. Uh, we got the plushie. Cool. We got a couple lore items. Moist locket. Okay. Aquatic emblem. England kit. And the downpour. And now we also have to deal with the tier two of the acid rain. I just realized I was getting massively hurt there. Oh my god. <laughs> All these freaking sea skater things all of a sudden just come out of nowhere. There we go. Ah, stop it. I'm waiting for the Cragmire Ma to show up. Eighty-five percent. I still haven't seen the guy yet. Get out of here, God. Oh, hey, cool, we're done. Sweet. All right, sweet. So, okay, we got a lot of these acid lamps. Sulfurous Grabber, which is yo-yo. Uh, that's just a pet, right? God, you can't even see it. Uh, let's see, we get the Downpour. Okay, which is that one. We got the Relic. Got some potions out of it, and... Got ourselves a little plushie here. Those things are cute, actually. I really do like the plushies. 
Oh, we've got crate potions, fishing potions, and money out of that kit. Okay, that's not bad. Put that down because there's no point in taking it with. And the moist locket is an aquatic scourge pet, which is kind of cool. And we have loaded fossils. So. Much we can do with it. We can make miasma. The aquamarine staff. Okay. Not sure on that one. Bone breaker. Our javelins stick to enemies before bursting into shrapnel. Interesting. The melee weapon, nonetheless. Acidic brain barrel, the corticosta bow, and then the music box. Okay. So I need, what, 150 bone javelins for that then? And of course, you make them in sets of 20, so I'm going to have extras, but. Like Bone Breaker. Here we go. Uh, it's got a slightly better range than the Brimstone. It can use for bursting into shrapnel. Okay. Yeah. It is material, though. For Scourge of the Cosmos, okay. Scourge of the Corruptor plus Bone Breaker and Cosmolite. There's a bouncing Cosmic Scourge that emits tiny homing Cosmic Scourges on Death and Tile hits. Yeah, uh, I'll hold off on using that until then. Uh, let's see. Yep, there's that. We got the lore items, potions. Downpour, that's not a material, and there's that. That is. Uh, that is not a material either. Hey, bunny license, finally. Cool. Okay. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I'm going to farm up the Aquatic Scourge more off-camera, because I want the sea searing one of my favorite weapons, so. At least it was. I'm not sure if they've changed it around or not. Um, where did the bunny move in at? Well, that's the dog, right? Yeah, Sapphire the dog. Ah, there we go. There's our bunny. Living with a the Ditrator. Your homic? Your home milk? Thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.